Yeah, I want to question. question. Yeah, we got to ask her. David questions. Cook is here. This is 95. Yeah! <laughs> Stores right now. We had the chance to uh, meet a friend of yours a few days ago, and we asked this friend what question would they have for David Cook, and here is what they said. Hey, David. Oh. Aww. <laughs> what was the hardest song for you to record in the studio on your album? <laughs> David Archuleta was here. That's cute. Uh, the hardest song for me to track was uh, I actually tried to do a rock version of Crush. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to sing it, and then I decided not to. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, I think uh, the hardest part for me was probably permanent. I think just because of the, uh, there's, a, there's an emotional context behind it. That for those who don't, uh, haven't followed me or followed Idol, I guess, at this point, uh, I have an older brother who's been sick with a brain tumor for a long time, and so that song was written very, um, very directly about him, and I made it a point to be very uh, honest lyrically. So um, that song was probably the toughest to pull off, I think, just because it was towards the end of the record cycle. I was uh, a little burnt out, um, but also really wanted to put everything I had into this. Also, uh, emotionally, mm. you're probably doing this on the road and being completely drained. You're showing everybody some stuff that maybe you not let out to that extent. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I think um, you know it's interesting going through the idol. Uh, set up. I wanted to, uh, to to succeed or fail on my own merit. I didn't want anything uh, to do with me going on stage and singing uh, to affect the outcome in any way. And so I, I you know, me and my family, we made a really conscious effort to to uh, keep my brother's uh, illness out of the out of the media. And um, and so that was uh, that was uh, it was weird. It was like four and a half months of of uh, you know not talking about the elephant in the room. So right. To speak. So. Uh, glad to kind of be out in the public now and uh, I can talk about it and hopefully uh, be a proponent for change. Without getting uh, too personal, how is everything now? Everything is, uh, uh, we are cautiously optimistic. Good. I think uh, the treatments that we're taking and uh, we're just going a day at a time. Good. As oh, a uh, card-carrying member and the uh, treasurer for the Cougars for Cook, the next question is, how's your love life? <laughs> I saved you. I took that one uh, for you right there. <laughs> Man, that wasn't mine. That's my response. Excellent. <laughs> Let's go to uh, yeah. Jeanette from Garden City. Right here. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Step uh, on up to the microphone. Don't okay. be afraid. Make a leg. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Hello. Uh, well, my question is, um, I absolutely love Analog Heart. Mm -hmm. first Excellent. Out. And what is the likelihood of it possibly being re-released and produced again? I have been asked that a few times. Mm -hmm. And um, first off, I can't say thank you enough that everybody kind of backtracked and really got into the stuff I was doing before Idol. Uh, I really wish you guys would have better help. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so never we. came to New York. I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's money, man. <laughs> No, but um, we we have uh, kind of juggled around the idea of maybe throwing in some stuff on, on the tour. Excellent, uh, excellent, great. absolutely. That's uh, great. I, I, I would well, maybe, you know, <laughs> I would love to get I would love to get back to to uh, and do some things that I was doing before Idol. But as right now, there there are no plans to uh, to re-release. I think uh, it's a nice snapshot of where I was at, but uh, I'm all about looking forward. Good question, Jeanette. Thank you. Question. Where is Cindy? Cindy Abood from Avenel, New Jersey. Step on over, Cindy. Hi, Dave. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, being a cook myself, I read that you enjoy cooking. Uh, I do. I don't know that I'm good at it. <laughs> that's, that's the point. Right. Now, do you cook for your dates? Uh, I do. I have, uh, I have uh, two, maybe three go-to. Uh, one is spaghetti. And, uh, with uh, with Call it garlic toast. Nice. Just toast. <laughs> butter it, sprinkle some garlic salt on it. It's good to go. Uh, <laughs> college. Uh, <laughs> secondly, I, I do uh, I do on occasion make a uh, this is so lame. I do make a sandwich. I have never quote unquote closed the deal. <laughs> uh, and lastly. Uh, the milk hasn't gone bad, usually cereals are good stuff. <laughs> there you go. Well done. Spoken like a true bachelor. Yeah. Here comes the lightning round of questions. We have a couple about the song, and then we can see the horizon. Okay. 
Uh, number one, uh, where's the football field in the video? Is it someplace significant? Uh, it's at a community college in Los Angeles. Uh, it's not significant uh, other than the fact that we shot it there and it was 40 degrees when we shot it. Wow, nice. You can see your breath when you say that. Listen, he is tall, he is handsome. We understand he is also very muscular and a generous lover. Let's talk about Chris Cornell for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Do you Here, think... I thought you were talking about my guitar player, Neil, the whole time. Oh, oh. Not, to, not to put any not undue that. pressure on, it's but do you think if he, were not, <laughs> if he were not to offer up the light on song, do you think he would have successful as successful of a run with it as you would have? Uh... I have the utmost respect for Chris Cornell, so I have to say yes, I think he would have uh, mm -hmm. as much success. I think it's a great song. I think the, the message behind it is universal, the whole love amidst distance thing, I think it's something everybody can relate to. And musically, uh, I, I pull a lot of influence out of it. To me, it's like a rock history lesson in about four minutes. So. That's great. Yeah. That is great. Well done. And the guitar lesson online was very cool. Yeah. That was great. Yeah. We love can, that. Can I, I, I've seen a lot of, everybody's submissions have been really cool and have been really... Um, Kind of interested in seeing how everybody takes their own spin on it, uh, I, but I have I have to I have to confess something. Um, I didn't actually know all the chords. <laughs> so we had no clue. Actually, off camera, like feeding me chords. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, the a a what is it? You got it. A sus. A the, uh, the, the, the a sus, a sus seven. seven. Yeah. A seven yeah. sus four. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the last part of our lightning round. We recycle on our program. Uh, unfortunately, what we recycle is interview questions. Right. Some call it blatant plagiarism. We think it's genius. We would like your assistance in the greening of the earth. Okay. Your recycled interview comes from a Bruce Willis 1992. <laughs> still an interview. Uh, we chose this interview because you, before fame like Bruce Willis, were also a bartender. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. So we're going to ask you the friends. same, you should, the same <laughs> questions Bruce was asked. And we were interested in the question. Can you introduce me to Petron and Coco? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you still think Sybil Shepherd is hot? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say that's obvious. Of course I do. Okay, fantastic. Can you really play the harmonica? Ooh. <laughs> Is that really the juiciest question? <laughs> uh, I, can, uh, I, I can work my way around a harmonica. All right. Excellent. Yeah. Well done. Would you like to have children with Demi Moore? Oh! <laughs> Ashton Kutcher would be happy. I was just saying, am I being punked? <laughs> no. uh, we can let that one slide. Uh, what are the proper bartender ingredients for a rusty nail? Uh-oh. Uh, a rusty nail and an open wound. <laughs> Good, or we would have accepted Drambui, and uh, I prefer Jameson. Okay. So, uh, have you ever been given a phone number on a napkin oh. with a lipstick mark? Uh, I have been given, I've been given a napkin with a lipstick mark, and I've been given a napkin with a phone number. I've never been given one in concert. Would you like one now? <laughs> that is it right there. <laughs> You're going to get a lot tonight. Woo! Woo! Thanks so much for stopping by, man. Oh, man my pleasure. Continued fun. success. We can't wait to hear your reports back from overseas when you visit our fine troops in Iraq. Absolutely. We hope that you're going to tell us something that we uh, we don't know yet and that maybe the end is near.